So the curve tracer I bought came with two adapters, um, one for small signal diode or signal transistors and one for small signal diodes. Um, so this was one I've taken it apart. It's kind of rusty inside. So um, there's a little PC board in there and I just uh, took some alcohol and tried to create, clean all that stuff off. Um, interestingly, there is a ferrite bead on each of the leads. So that's a emitter base collector. Those are the three banana jacks emitter base collector and they all have uh, ferrite beads on them. So it was interesting. And here's everything cleaned up. Um, all ready to put back together again. I wire brushed all the screws and stuff, get all the uh, all the rust off of them. And here it's back together. It looks, uh, looks pretty nice. I put some contact cleaner and uh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, the other one was a, um, a diode holder and one of the little metal contacts is, is broken. Um, and one of the banana jack uh, plugs on the bottom is broken, the upper left hand one there. So I open it up and um, there is this uh, two leaf contact and it is a it does look like it's a Kelvin contact, um, which means the source and the measurement are two separate leads, one on the left and one on the right. So I thought about replacing one of the, um, the left-hand side one, but it looks like there was enough material that I just bent it over and you just have to slide it down a little bit farther in the test fixture and it, it, I believe it'll work just fine. Uh, now to replace the um, banana, the broken banana jag on the bottom, that one had me scratch my head for a while. So uh, let me show you what I did here. So the broken piece is in the upper left. So it's just a screw terminal with the banana jack part just broken off. So I'm going to use this donor um, banana jack type up on the upper upper right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that one on the upper right saw it off, and I've done that in the lower right, and then take a screw and uh, try to attach those threads to the banana jack. So, um, so I held the two parts um, in line and then uh, soldered them together. Uh, soldered the screw onto the uh, banana jack. I, I drilled a hole so that screw would inset a little bit and then tried to put a fillet of uh, solder in there to hold things together. So here's what I ended up with. I think it looks pretty good. Um, looks like that's kind of what was in there to begin with. So I uh, put it all together and uh, there's one banana jack that looks a little different than the other ones, but it's completely functional. So. Uh, Quite pleased with that one. 